Hello, my friends. Welcome back. As I'm sure you've seen in the thumbnail that I haven't created yet for the series, this is going to be the last episode of Saving Servette. Um, I want to give you my reasons for it, so don't just click off the, the video just yet, um, because we are going to like vacation into the future to see what happens. But I want to talk about my reasoning for it and take a look at some things going on during the transfer window and talk about my personal life a little bit and stuff like that. So stick around as we as we get through this. The big thing for me, there's a couple big things to be honest with you. Um, I have found this to be a lot more challenging than I expected, not from a gameplay standpoint, right? So, it, you know, in our second season, we got promoted, whatever. We're currently top of the table, clear by two points, you know, not half bad, right? But I've found it challenging to really get into it like as a as a series and recording it as a series like i was anticipating like finding images from around geneva and like having all kinds of like little intros around it and all that kind of stuff but what i've found is with the episodes just coming on wednesdays and saturdays is i tend to record in bunches like i might record like two sets of wednesdays and saturdays so four total episodes at once and when I'm doing that, I find I found it hard to like, I don't know, just like get into it in terms of doing an intro. And then when it's spaced out that far, it's hard to get reactions from from you guys in the comments. Um, so that's been challenging. The other thing I found challenging with it or another thing, there's multiple things is with it being a single club save. I actually don't like that as much as a journeyman, which is a bit of a surprise to me. Like I was. um I watched a lot of Cultured Left Foot, if, you, if you're familiar with, with him on YouTube. Um, he had a, like 100 plus episodes with N, uh, NK Maribor, and I think Slovenia. And man, like I really got into it. And I was kind of impressed that he was with the club that long and built up the youth and all that kind of stuff. But I just haven't been able to get that feeling with Servet. Um so I'm not sure if I'm just going to stick to journeymans in the future or if if I was doing this where it was like this was the main series on the channel where I was doing it five days a week or whatever or six or I don't even I guess it's five. I don't even know how many I guess it's five days a week I do the journeyman. I might feel a little bit differently, but when I'm having to do like bunches of games in between, it's gotten a little bit of uh, OK. Here we go. Let's let's record another episode, you know, and and I don't want to do that. Like I, that's going to impact how it comes across to you all. It's not going to be as engaging. It's not going to be as fun. I'm not going to be as interactive with it. It just wasn't it, like I was kind of feeling it here towards this section here. I was like, OK, let's go record. Let's go record. Let's go record versus like every game seeming to matter or every episode seeming to matter. I just didn't have that feeling. The other thing, and I talked about this in the February analytics video. If you happen to to see that, you might know what's coming. But I, I just I need to spend a little bit more time right now focusing on me, focusing on my family, focusing on my health, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have traditionally been a really awful uh, person in terms of sleep. Like it's been common recently for me to get maybe six hours a night, maybe five and a half hours a night because I'm either up doing stuff for the channel or like there, there are times where I'm just watching stuff on Twitch and relaxing when I really should just be in bed. Like I, I, I have discipline in a lot of areas of my life, but that is definitely not one of them. And I need to take a step back and focus on that. Um, getting good sleep, getting some actual exercise. Like I'm not getting any younger. I want to be around for my kids. I'm not like morbidly obese or anything like that. Um, I haven't had like a personal health scare or anything like that. So don't worry about those things, but I want to make sure I don't have those things and I need to be able to balance my time a little bit better. The last thing is I really just want to focus on the quality. And I think I may have already said that, but I don't have anything written out as we're talking through this. So I want to make sure I'm focusing on quality content and that might mean i spend less or I, I not spend less time but like i put out fewer episodes in the future of whatever series we have running but hopefully those episodes are of higher quality like i want to do more skits i want it to i want to have more props and stuff like that but those things take time and so trying to crank out 
like right now we're doing five episodes of the journeyman okay five of those we got two saving servat i've done pretty well although i've missed a couple weeks with the u.s men's national team on of doing one of those a week and then experiment on uh, on mondays so that's nine episodes of content that i'm putting out every week and i i just I don't know if that's the highest quality. Like, I think the experiment's highest quality. I think I've done an okay job with the U.S. Men's National Team. I think I've done a pretty good job with the Journeyman. But I think this series has kind of fallen behind. So I think moving forward in 2018, I'm going to be spending more time on each episode. And I may scale back even further. I don't want to necessarily scale back. But if it means scaling back to get higher quality on those episodes, I think that's what's going to draw, like, draw you guys in and gals. So I say guys. I'm from the south i think that's a thing that we say um in the south of america oh boy not south america. you know what i mean i live in anyway if that's what's going to draw people in or or potentially get new viewers to come in because people share like the first episode of a series and it's awesome and then the second episode is like even better because of the the intros and the quality as part of the episode then i think i should do that um I know the game is kind of slowing down a little bit. We're about six months since it was released, or maybe four or five. I don't know. November, March. We're about four and a half months since the game's been released. So, like, there's always a big spike, and it kind of falls down a little bit. But I, that doesn't mean I want to stop making quality content. So, I think as as the journeyman, wherever that ends up, whenever that ends up, I'm going to come back with a new series, and I'm really going to put a lot into it. And that means I need to kind of trim the fat a little bit from the channel. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I do want to walk you through some things that have happened in the transfer window, and then I'm going to resign, and then we'll vacation forward until the end of the season to see how they ended up. I think, though, you can argue, argue if the name of the series is Saving Servette, we've done our job. Because when we joined, we were, like, I don't know, like, uh... See, I don't. I hate this chart. Like it, it. Why can't you give me what as I'm as I'm scrolling here? You see the little pink dot there that kind of moves. Why can't you give me the number? Because we were like a like 1.5 or 1.9 million euros in debt, something like that. And we kind of were we were grinding, we were grinding, we survived. We got a massive set of sponsorships, and then we got promoted. And that, like, so I think from a financial standpoint, we have saved the club. Now, to be fair, we've not. Uh, Let's go back here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we we won promotion last season. We're currently in first place. We've not, you know, it's not like we've done European competitions or anything like that. But from a pure financial standpoint, there's now money in the bank. There's 6 million euros in the bank. That's an increase of 7.5 to 8 million, depending on wherever this number was ahead of time um, when we started. I think we've done a good job. So... Some frustrations I've had. Now, part of this is my fault. Um, I tend to wait to do contracts until about six, seven months out. And to be honest with you, I was clicking through the transfer window and I forgot on some of these guys. And what ended up happening is a bunch of our really good youth prospects or rotational players got end of contract offers. And then they were like, no, I don't want to talk to you. So that's added to my frustration with the save. But really, that's frustration with me. So that's not the reason I'm stopping this, the save. I, the other reasons I mentioned and rambled on for six minutes or seven minutes about is the real reason. But I wanted to show you. So Baba Suarez is going to Club Bruges in the summer for free. Um, Jean-Luc Dujardin is going to Hertha on a free. Dejan Georgiev has got... Uh... Oh, he's rejected all the offers. No, he's joining Koln on a free. And Hajdari is joining Wolfsburg on a free. So that's a massive hit to the club. To be fair, um, we do have other really good prospects, you know, that can come up and they'll be fine. Like I'm not, I'm not, I, it, I'm not worried about it. Like, Oh gosh, we're not going to be able to compete. Like, I really don't think that's the case whatsoever. I think we are quite stacked with talent. Melvin's not a starter. This is kind of, I just had a friendly. So like we've got loads of talent, but I think it's fair if I'm going to leave that I do it in the middle of the transfer window Allow them to find a new boss, and that boss can go out and make any changes he, he or she wants to make, and then we can kind of see what happens at the end of the season. So that's what we're going to do. I'm sorry if this is a little bit disappointing. I'm, I'm, sh I'm hoping you all understand where I'm coming from. I just I just need to like take a bit of a, of a breather and, and do some stuff outside of YouTube, and, folk, and, a lot, and, blah, blah, and doing that allows me to focus quality on the remaining series. So, again, I... I 
I don't know why I feel like I need to apologize all the time, but I'm going to apologize. Um, this is a new thing. I, I saw somebody tweet this the other day. You can retire at the end of the club season, which I had no idea was a thing. We're not going to do that. We're just going to retire immediately. Okay, so I broke the game because I, I retired instead of resigning. So I need to resign, not retire, because then, like, it, it literally crashed the game when I went to process. Like, I was processing not being the manager and trying to get to a future date to where we could see what happened. And it was like the game literally, I was like, man, this is taking a long time. I stopped recording. And then I went to my task manager after like 10 minutes. It's like, Oh, the game's not responding. So we're going to resign, resign. So I've reloaded. Nothing has changed. I'll show you just to make sure you're okay. Joining Hertha, joining club Bruges, joining Wolfsburg, yada, yada, yada. Um, I think I also forgot to mention Nathan tore his abdominal muscle and is out for three months. Good luck to the next manager, whoever that is. So now we're going to resign. Resign. And you can still do that in the season. Yes. There we go. There we go. The inbox is still... Okay, there it is. Okay. Easy, lads. Easy. All right. So I'm going to vacation forward now until... I should have probably looked up when the end of the season was. Oh, boy. This is excellent stuff. Schedule. Uh, we're going to go to May 24th. I'll be right back. All right, my friends. I thought I broke the game. It got hung up on January 31st for like 10 minutes straight and finally processed whatever was going on. Oh, we could get the West Brom job. Man City has an opening. Interesting. But we're not. It's the end of the series. Anyway, let's go find out what happened at Servette, my friends, as a final send off. Looks like they finished fourth. Again, the blue on red. I probably should have figured out how to change that. We had 39 points with 18 games. In the next 18 games, they picked up 11 points. It has not gone well. They, I think we had one draw and five losses, so it's pretty much been that since then. Um, they're in the Friendly Cup. Okay, knocked out in the first... Okay, that was us. We shouldn't talk about that, so... We were down here. This is when we left first, then they fell to third, fourth, and then it just kind of tailed off. And then they made a little bit of a comeback, fourth based on goal differential. But they've survived, so they, they've they made it. Let's go see um, who's still on the squad. Have they made any changes, any new faces? Baba Suari is still, I guess, starting, even though he's leaving. Jerk. Lapagam is uh, coming back off an injury. I pulled groin. Okay. Fernandez, Stavinovich, and Mary. Oh, okay. They've gone... Interesting. Striker, two midfielders in the middle, a right midfielder with a DM. Okay, they're missing, I guess, the the left midfielder because that's not enough people. Or what is this tactic? Oh, okay, 4-1-4-1. They went super defensive. So they were missing the left, left wing slash left uh, midfielder. Any new faces? No new faces. Really? They didn't make a single transfer. Or they did. What what is happening? Okay, so Arcus was ours. Okay, Nishan Burkhart. Is a striker. He played in the city. 18 appearances, three goals. Not great. Is he the Malanga replacement? Okay, and then Stefan Sayer has played, I guess, in the U19 or the second team league or something like that. I don't have the, like, where you can see the attributes if you're not the coach. So, okay. An another 21-year-old that played, like, a backup, I guess. This one's actually getting paid. He's a backup keeper. What? Played in the U21? I guess interesting 625 okay so it looks like we just picked up some youngsters another backup keeper on the U21 squad only picked up youngsters interesting okay loaned out Romario Hoxa who we knew to Nujatel Zamas interesting down in the challenge league Getting him some time. We got 15 games on a 6-5-2. Not great. And then loaned out 
Charles Bernard to Gotberg, and he's only received four starts on a 661. Not the best. So that's a bit surprising. I thought I would give them enough time that they they have like 1.9 million in the bank where they could go pick up some players. But I guess maybe the big change is going to happen when Soiree leaves, Jean-Luc Dujardin leaves. They've got Mafui listed. Interesting. I think that's poor choice. Um, Hajdari's leaving. So it'd be inter- it would be interesting to see um, what happens there on leave. What is he on leave for? I've never seen on leave. Is he... He's not injured. Is it like... Uh, he's like a death in the family? Or does he need a break? Or... Intra- I Let me know if you've ever seen on leave. And what that means. But... Uh, so, not... Not terrible. It didn't get relegated, right? So, 31 points was the relegation. They had 39 on the left, so they've made it. Again, I think we've done a decent job saving them. It seems to have gone more traditional young boys Basel at the top. But we're still in the mix there. And again, I hope you understand my reasons for uh, kind of ending the series. It kind of is what it is. I want to be able to focus, you know, my efforts elsewhere. Um, they've listed Malanga, too, for 8500 That's pathetic. Although, to be fair, he's kind of falling apart. Um, so check out this stuff over here. It's going to have the other series. I'm sure you guys are watching... Um, the uh, journeyman if you haven't get caught up on it really interesting stuff coming in the couple next couple of episodes and then uh the experiment i'm really like i'm really enjoying the seven kids and seven tears experiment it's kind of surprised me to be honest i thought it'd be fun but like i'm really really into it right now so check those things out i really appreciate your support on this series and i'm sure i'll be back soon and bringing you a brand new series or something like that once the other journeyman ends And we'll really try and step our game up. So we'll see you then. Make sure you hit a like or something like that. Let me know what you think of the comments. Hopefully it's not too rough. We'll see you later.